or, or any other questions. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, like I said, my name is is Mark Gold. I work at Woodstock Hairstylist. It's at 60 Tinker Street, and as Paul affirmed, it's you know it's a nice shop to come to. You know, it's it's mellow and uh, it's, it's it's a cool shop. And I want I want to thank Hayashi Products again. Is my sponsors. They're really, they're really good people. It's a new product line. Um, I, uh, I stand behind them. They work well. Put the mic over here. Airbenders. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine was uh, talking to me about the product. He asked me, and uh, I had no knowledge about it. I wonder maybe if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, polysorbate 80. Yes, that's. I, yeah, I've heard about it. A friend, a friend of mine tried it uh, out of uh, out of a company in New York. I, I, do you know what it is? N not at all. Nothing. I, I don't know anything. P about uh, it. Can you hear? Can you hear it in the audience there? Poly Polystyrene 80. It's cooking oil. It's a it's a it's a it's a form of cooking oil actually. And I think the con a conjunction that uh, my friend used it. It basically is a refined form of of, of a cooking oil, a vegetable oil. What's the process? How, how does it work? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I had a friend I, on the coast. He went to. I'm trying to think of the name of the place. I probably even shouldn't mention them. But basically, what they did was they taught him how to shampoo his hair, which they, which um, to, they had him using baby shampoo, which is good for some men who have fine hair because it will make it you know appear fuller and thicker and it'll clean out the excess sebum in the follicle. Now, why they, why they would go and put polysorbate back on top of it, I don't know, to plug up the follicle again, because it's, a, it's an oil. And, I mean, have your friends seen any results from it? Um, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. He, he, he hasn't tried it. He hasn't tried it. Yeah, I, I don't know where he found out about it. I, I just had this conversation about two days ago. No, it's, it's, it's been out for, uh, God, it's been out for five years. And so far, it, it hasn't really, uh, hasn't, there's been no miraculous happenings from it. Right. But basically, what polysorbate is like, polyunsaturated, you know, and it's poly, polysorbate is, if you look it up, is, is, is a vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't know, maybe there's properties in it that they think it might be certain minerals. I mean, there is, there is one, there is, there's a funny, a funny story I have to tell you for a second, viewers. Uh, Edgar Casey. I don't know if anybody out there has ever heard of Edgar Casey. Edgar Casey has a um, has a cure for baldness. All right. But what you have to do is you have to go out to a oil field. You have to get the man to pull the the oil derrick up, and you have to take that crude oil off the end of the drill bit and slap it on your head. But then we're talking crude, crude oil. This has many mineral properties that come up from the earth. And and he, and he claims that by putting rubbing that into your scalp, um, you can restore hair. Now, of course, you got to wash it out too. And I don't know what will take out crude oil off your hair. You know, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's it's a. Uh, I think the thing behind it, what I'm trying to say, is there might be certain mineral properties in it, but you have to uh, weigh uh, the cure against you know what you have to go through for it. For a lot of years ago, they used. Uh, tar shampoos for dandruff and stuff, which are derivatives of, of, of course, of, of oils. Um, I, I haven't heard anything good about it yet. The polysorbate. It's usually used in conjunction, like I said, with with a thorough cleansing of the scalp by uh, baby shampoo. I know that's what my friend was using, and he he got no results from it. And this is I'm only saying from because like I've tried, I've researched them all. I've researched. Um, uh, men having actually having female hormone shots in the head because there's a theory that, and it's known for a theory that um, man's testosterone level drops down, so he loses hair, and he gets hair on his shoulders and hairy arms. So they started that shooting, hair, uh, shooting them in the scalp with with female hormone. You know, uh, on a few, these were hairdressers I worked with. A few of them it, it, it worked, but I don't know what I'd be wanting to be, in, you know, female hormone injected into me. You know, two things can happen. You know, one goes down, one goes out. Yeah, you know, so you you run you run into you run into problems with that. Um, 
I've seen uh, topically applied female hormone, which might be a little bit better. That, but for women that are that are on the pill, I've seen uh, I've seen transplants. The best transplants are Orintrike down in New York. Does great great hair plugs. That's another route if you got if you got mega bucks. The minoxidil, if you were listening, I already talked about. Uh, I haven't seen. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that I've explored. Uh, that the the process you're talking about, I looked over it and I saw. I saw no no growth from it whatsoever. He can try it. I'd like to. I'd like him to try it. Do you experience the hair loss uh, the same way? No. No. Okay. You just wanted to just yeah, check it um, out. You know, people. Uh, a lot of people talk about health issues up here and whatnot. And yeah. It's, it sounds like a, you know, like a mega heavy duty chemical. You know, polysorbate eighty. But um, you're telling me it's a vegetable oil. Yeah. It's yeah. just a refined form of it. Right. Right. You know, it's not like going down and getting Weston oil down to Grand Union. Right. So it's probably free plug for dangerous. Grand Union. Yeah. Excuse me. So it's probably no, it's not dangerous. But I don't know that it could not be dangerous because it, what could happen is is that if if it's laying on top of the the scalp, it and it's clogging up the, the follicles, you know, and the pores of the scalp, it might it might be inhibiting growth too. Sure. So I don't know. I mean, what does oil do? I mean, it, it, you know, it just it's, it's a clogging factor. Right. So, so I. I, I if if I saw good results about it, I'd tell you that I did, you know, because I'm being I'm just being like full tilt honest about everything I've seen about about hair growth in men, and uh, you know I don't uh, that particular that particular um, product. And that's why I got Paul on here tonight because he was he was in the shop. Uh, the people that we ordered it from, they 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 gave me the indications that people that they. In, in the supplier that we order from were using it in the office and they were seeing results in two weeks like Paul but I didn't have them to come on the show and Paul was in the other day getting his hair cut and he, he mentioned it and I said well great would you come on the show and he, and he volunteered to come on the show and, it, and so you know I just I just met him once in the shop and you heard what he said about it well actually we, we tuned in a little late maybe you'll just uh, maybe another program or something mention it again okay well he what, uh, what I can uh, in a synopsis I can he says that his hair has has, great, has improved from it. His, the, fa the, the fallout has stopped. Mostly he finds uh, no hair in his brush and comb. So what he's keeping, what he has, and that's the principle behind it, is that you want to keep the hair that you have and probably the delicate hair that, that is growing in, instead of just dropping off, this will nurture it to grow in. And that's what I'm hoping to see over the course of time. I'll question Paul about it, and I'll ask him to come back on the show and we'll get the whole scoop on this. The name of it is? Again. It's Vivigen. We have it in the shop. Vi Vivi Vivigen. Vivigen. Yes. It's a Redken product. I should, they're, not, they're not even paying me that for this, you know. <laughs> ah, she does, but they don't. Um, but you should come in and check it out, or your friend should come in and check it out. And uh, I think, you know, I think we're going to see some. They've been experimenting with it since, uh, I believe, 81. And Redken is certainly one of the top um, chemi chemical uh, Shampoo companies out there, mm -hmm. and we have it in the shop. And you know, we'll show you how to apply it. And we'll go through it and give you a few more hints about how to take care. You can tell your friend how to take care of your hair if it's in, in delicate shape like that, and we'll uh, go through it. Okay. Well, you may get a, a visit then. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that was great, Paul, of you to come on. I really appreciate that. All right. Uh, one more call, and then I'm gonna have to. I, I hope it's. The call sign have been good. They've been good calls. Hairbenders. There it is. There's the call I've been waiting for. This is the one call, the one guy that calls in every week. Well, sir, to you, to you. You are one poor son of a gun, I have to say that. You must be bored to tears to have to sit there. You finally got your call, and I hope you're happy. Come on the show sometime. Show us how you make your little tapes and everything, you know. Fun. Come in for a haircut. You can play your little tape for me, you know. Uh, he calls every week. So I appreciate your comment, though. Uh, go down to the Grand Union and harass, harass the checkers down there like I tell you to do. You know. Or at least at least show, your, show yourself to me. Once around town, I'd like to meet you. You sound real interesting. <laughs> <laughs> At any event, on a more serious matter, 
This has been another episode of Hairbenders. I'm Mark Gold. I'm at 60 Tinker Street. That's Woodstock Hairstylist. And I'm over there at 679-6758. Any other people that want to appear on the show or models that want to appear, give me a call at the salon. I'm going to be flashing the salon one more, and I hope it's not you again, because if it is you again, good luck to you. Well, he's having his jollies. I hope he's happy tonight. <laughs> and that's another episode of Hairbenders. And come, come see me at the shop, or just give a call. I'm gonna flash the when I get done here. Should I go for it? What's the audience poll? No. Oh, well, I gotta go for it. Surprise. 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 The good call or bad call? Good. Good. Okay. Good. I'm going to New York tomorrow, and I'm going to tell all my friends about you because I really like your hair place. Um, I think I was in a few days ago. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give you very good reviews. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay, huh? Okay. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to close the show with that one. <laughs> all right. Like I said, that's Mark Gold. Another episode of Hairbenders. Next week, more fun and folly. And 60 Tinker Street, Woodstock Hairstyle, 679-675A. I'll be there tomorrow. Give me your calls. Thanks for tuning in. Throw it to one.